What is up, guys? My name is Cove. Gonna go a little Eminem there and hit you with the my name is, you know. We're back on World of Tanks. And today, I really had the question this morning when I woke up. What is the best tier 10 heavy tank? So I figure the best way to find that out is to uh, play a game in what I consider to be the top four, which would be the Supercock, the VZ-55, the 60TP, and the Kronwagen. Uh, since the new season of Ranked should be here eventually, soon, uh, in the next month or so. We should be seeing a lot more of these tanks used for the next season of Ranked. So what I want to do today is just go ahead and play a battle in each one. Just kind of go over the, the strengths and weaknesses of each tank. How you can get the most out of um, each one. And at the end I'll pretty much just sum up what I believe is the best of the four best tier 10 heavy tanks now i do have to shout out the t57 heavy as an honorable mention here just because i absolutely love the t57 heavy but do i think it's the best tier 10 heavy tank no i i don't i don't think it can stack up to these four tanks so first we're gonna go in with the super cock i'll see you guys in there And we're on Live Oaks, which is a great map for tier 10 with 10 degrees of gun depression and some mobility. I do run a turbo on the Super Conk just to minimize the biggest downside of the tank, which is its mobility. Obviously, um, with tier 10, we're with blah, 10 degrees of gun depression. You're gonna want to get hauled down. So, in a super concrete. Wow, dude. Okay. Uh, you don't. Thank you so much for wasting my time and your own. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. So, anyway, obviously, weak point, lower plate, so you want to hide that as best you can. The upper hull is pretty good. Uh, you also don't want to get shot in the side of the uh, gun mantlet, as that is also a massive weak point. And in between the um, alien-like shields on the front of the turret, it's also um, rather weak to high, pe or, uh, high penetration uh, non-heat rounds. Everybody just wants to be in my way today. And the Centurion Action Axe is immediately going to get fucking destroyed. But we're going to be able to not put a shot into this EPP. Okay. Great start here. There we go. That's more like it. This is not going to be a very good game. Our EBR is on 300 hit points already. Smack him. <laughs> oh, wow. So the penetration on the standard rounds is 259. 
which is, is better than some tier 10 tank destroyers. Patton inside or not. Did track him or retrack him. Let's see if we can. Uh... Oh, and the, uh, the another big strength, other than the turret armor, the upper hull, and the DPM of the Superconk is the gun handling. It is absolutely incredible. So that is why I take a turbo instead of taking vertical stabilizer because it just has such good gun handling. I can't pin anything. But the Jaeger just demolished that tier 10 British medium tech. So TVP hit us once. I'll write that down in our notes. <laughs> Uh, okay. This battle's going swimmingly so far. Oh, we're still up there. I got fucking hair in my mouth. Oh. Yep, that was a bad decision. But where those TDs are sitting, they're not going to be in an effective position for like the rest of the game. actually going to be able to put a tad bit of pressure on the enemy team. Oh yeah, shell velocity on this tank is actually rather good for a heavy. As you would expect when you have a 120... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. I guess that's what happens when you don't play the game for a week. You just immediately suck at it. Nice. Screen action 10 down below. This is fine. Stupid. Punish stupidity. Always punish stupidity on the enemy team. Um, we have lost the city somehow. There's also somebody right the fuck there. And I missed him. You gotta put pressure on that. Shut up, my guy. More dirt to TVP. One of the two. No. no, never mind. He's not gonna do either. Haha. -ha. Really bad game. Really, really bad game. Could have had like 4,000 damage there, but 3,000, 3 or 4,000, but you know. I couldn't pin lightly armored medium tanks, which is fine, I guess. Oh, the Bosch almost went down. So I think we saw a bunch of weaknesses with the uh, Super Conk there. And not a whole lot of strengths. Now is it worth to get the Super Conk over the Conqueror? Yes. Now, do I think you should also keep the Conqueror? Yes. The Conqueror has better mobility than the Tier 10, or the Tier 9 has better mobility over the Tier 10. It's got the same turret armor. The weak point on top of the turret is uh, much stronger on the Super Conk than it is on the Conqueror. However, it's still a pen in the ass to pen on the Conqueror, so there's that. Um, the mobility is negligible. Like it, the difference is negligible, honestly when you throw in the massive DPM increase you get and the upper hull uh, armor increase that you get. So, I mean, yes, you, you want to have both tanks in your garage. And I don't, I, I think the Super Conk is just that much better than the tier nine. 
Are we about to see a, a mouse call a No, we're not. We are most definitely not. Okay. And the stirve can't hit anything, which is weird because, you know, it's a stirve. Just gonna wait on the stirb to die here, and then we'll go into the next game in what's next. I guess we'll go left to right and then down. So 60 TP will probably, I think it's the 60 TP is next. Yeah, that sounds right. And hopefully we can do a bit more than uh, 2,500 combined. Hopefully. We did get a kill there, which is always nice, I guess. Um, not the kind of game I wanted to have in Supercard, but it did kind of show off the weaknesses and strengths and let you uh, get your own opinion on it. And I gave you my opinion on it, which is it's uh, not bad at all. Pretty decent tank. I'm going 60 TP next. Now, why do I have the 60 TP set up like this? Because it's just great. Having a 14, point, 14 and a quarter second reload instead of having a 17 second reload is a massive advantage that you won't get anywhere else. Now, your strengths of the 60 TP are obviously your armor, which can just absolutely suck sometimes. Uh, the gun is fairly inaccurate. Not mine, but if you're not running bounty and bond equipment on it, it will be incredibly unreliable. Uh, the penetration on the premium rounds is garbage, but we're not going to need them very much. <clears throat> I still haven't fixed this from the high explosive changes. Uh, and the mobility is... Uh, it's got worse mobility than the Super Conk, but not so much that it just makes it unplayable. This is my favorite tier 10, personally. That is also because this is the first tier 10 that I ever averaged over 2,500 damage a game in. So, over 100 battle stretch. I've only done it in two tanks so far. Obviously not combined, it's like 3k combined I think, but... It's a wonderful tank, honestly. But you have to play aggressively. If you don't play aggressively, you're going to end up chasing uh, damage and putting yourself in really awkward situations. Barely missed him. Um, and here's where your reload from the uh, Bond Rammer is going to just be beautiful. And I bounced. <laughs> Nice. Well, I just wasted two of my AP rounds. So I'm not making credits this game. Which is fine. You're playing tier 10, you shouldn't be worried about making credits. Uh, oh, also, the uh, shells on a 152mm at tier 10. They ain't cheap. <laughs> I believe the shell cost on this is like 1440 or something like that. See these low-lying ridge lines like this? Is where the 60 TP's armor just just fucking like dominates. Now, one thing that I can point out right now, since there is an E3 in front of me, is that the roof hatch is only 50 millimeters of armor. So E3's overmatch it. 
Yo, somebody kill the fucking E50, please. Thank you. That'd be great. Never mind. Fuck you. We're gonna let the E3 get overcommitted here. Or not. I'm just gonna get eaten alive by the E50. Let me just spam that real quick. Never mind, they don't give a shit. Awesome! They're just gonna let those mediums eat everybody alive. They're like, but there's not a good way to get them out of there. Yeah, there is. You rush the shit out of them. The people on the hill? Not gonna do a whole lot. We got 2,500 combined again. This looks like it could very easily be a 15-0 victory for the enemy team, which is always fun. Always fun to see. I love to see some 15-0s, especially ones that last like four seconds. With one tier 10 alive versus their three. Did I misplay that by going to the south? Probably, yes. Oh, not really south. West. Probably, yeah. Could my team have helped me out a little bit? By at least spotting the E50 and the E50M. Yeah, they probably could have. Did I show off any of the strengths or weaknesses of the T or 60TP there? Not even close. Because I pinned the shot on the heavily armored TD. I did bounce the shot off of the. E50, but that was also from like 400 meters, so the accuracy didn't really show its head. It does have fairly bad shell velocity, but it is a 150 millimeter gun, and for a 150 millimeter gun, it does have fairly decent shell velocity. So, I don't really see that as a weakness of the tank. It just has a 150 millimeter gun. And if you're trying to make a sniper out of a 150 millimeter gun and you're not using the grill, you're fucking up. So. Now the weird thing about the grill though, is um, it, uh, it lobs a 150 millimeter shell that's supposed to be super accurate. But it's also lobbing a 150 millimeter shell. Is that a turbo mouse? It is a turbo mouse. I can tell. I'm a fan. A fan of the turbo mouse. Team just folded, and they. It's really hard to attack the base on this map, but it's not hard to win the game on this map, if that makes sense when you're attacking. I've never seen a team put up such a stonewall defense that y you have the ability to just rush out and immediately get their base. Oh, that wasn't smart. Neither is trying to pin a mouse in a chariot here. Frontally. Now he is doing some spotting on him, which is always good. 
but he's never gonna pin. He has 268 millimeters of pin in his standard rounds, which is his highest pin round. This is the worst thing about the chariots here, is that the pin is so bad. With the, uh, with having Hess shells as your premium. <sighs> yes, be toxic in your tier eight. I'm gonna get some hate mail after this one from this charioteer because he's obviously not a very happy person right now. 15 to six. We didn't get what we wanted there, but we did get killed by the give up player. So, I mean, Not like they used to be, but they're still all really good players. So, so far we haven't had a good game, which sucks. But maybe we can turn that look around with some auto loaders. Now, there's two ways you can play this tank. Obviously, I've made a video on it before. You got a single shot. Which is more comparable to the WZ 111.5A, which is slightly more accurate, more like the 277, but the DPM is almost identical to the WZ, I believe. And um, the autoloader, which has worse gun handling, worse DPM, and uh, but it also hits for 880 average, or 960 average, sorry. Wait. 980 average let me add correctly haven't won yet so hopefully we can turn our luck around in the vz55 checklist fucking heavy tank uh armor is nowhere near as strong as the previous two tanks it has a trolley upper hull with a garbage lower plate Unless they're shooting down with the lower plate, in which case they will almost never pin it unless they're firing heat rounds. Um, it's got the massive weak point on top of the turret. It gets put on garbage maps like Pilsen all the time. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it also gets matched up against Chieftains, apparently. Oh, wait, never mind. I got matched up against one of them, 5A. Um, this is a weird, weird match of, of tanks. Where do I want to go on this map? Or light a heavy tank. I'm going to watch and see where the chieftain goes. And if the chieftain goes down the heavy tank line, I will go with him. Okay, I'm shadowing the chieftain here just to help him out a little bit. Now, I have massively played this tank probably way too much over the last three months. Um, the first week I had it, I was averaging 2,900 damage a battle. That has gone down. People have learned how to deal with the tank, and that kind of sucks. But we're going to hope somebody's stupid and tries to drive through here. You're completely safe from anything over here if you just sit here and wait, right? And that's a fucking chieftain. Nice. Not gonna do that now. Plan now. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go haul down on these rocks, spot whatever's back in here, which there's nothing right now. So prop the front of your tank up. Uh, you want to play the exact same spots, honestly, in this tank as you would on a 60 TP. Uh, your turret's actually rather similar to the 60 TP's turret. It's got a bigger weak point on the turret, but it's still not super easy to hit. Like, it's, it's easy to hit, but it's not, like, insanely easy to hit. Now... From this position, am I going to get any use? Not until that E75 uh, decides he's going to take the corner. So. 
Now, um, everybody complains about the premium pin on this tank, which doesn't make any sense to me because that is plenty to go through a mouse or a Type 5 Heavy. So, from fairly long range. So, complaining about pin on a tier 10 that has more than 300 millimeters of pin on its standard round, or on its premium rounds, just, uh, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I got spotted there, of course. Oh, shit. I forgot that D95 would have that shot. Okay. I feel like I'm playing Mirny again. I don't have a team capable of doing anything to progress any flank. Um, okay, so Conquer removed. That's great for us to move over to the corner. I guess the Super Conquer's going to be dumb. He's going to take a thousand damage for it. I see you out in the alleyway, sir. Don't. Wow. I'm getting shot from across the map. Always fun. Not in the bush. But I don't know where he is. Now we got a cower in the building. It's like a little bitch. Um. We're being flanked by a concept one B. We're being flanked by the entire enemy team. Let's be honest. Um. Should have an angle on this E4, we're gonna drive out. Boom, and boom, double miss. Oh, wait, no, that's 600 damage. That's the highest roll I've ever gotten with this gun. Now I'm going to get rushed by the Chieftain. I'm just gonna go that way, so I'm gonna circle him. Just the uh, great thing about this tank is, is it is faster than a Chieftain. Fired. You're angling so well, sir. Congratulations. Your team is better than mine. I think that's a new record in damage right there. So obviously my team was amazing and I, I just need to get better at the game. That's the, um, that's the only outcome that could have changed that. Um, it is obvious to me that I am just so incredibly garbage at this game that I am holding my own team back. That's my story, at least. So, so far we're having a fantastic session of World of Tanks. A solid, solid average damage of like 1,500. Yep. One kill in three battles. This is uh, fabulous, honestly. Really enjoying this. And um, three straight losses, obviously. Can't stop the losses coming through when your teams are just that much better than you um so yeah let's go on to the cronbong anyway um 10 degrees of gun or 12 degrees of gun depression three shot auto loader with 440 alpha damage per shot giving it a total mag potential of 1320 
see if we can do any better on the convo. Probably not. These are still my picks to be the best heavy tanks in the game that aren't called the Chieftain. It would help if I wasn't such a garbage player and my teams were a little worse, honestly. Couldn't boss me be my team's fault. Never blame your teams, guys. Don't be three. So what's great about the Kronvong on this map? Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. You can't hardly go hull down on this side of this map at all. You do have an autoloader, but it is the worst autoloader at tier 10 for burst damage. Um, at, yeah, heavy tanks, anyway. Um, you have the least bursty autoloader at tier 10. You have um, turret armor. You do have that um, going for you, but your turret does have some weak points. And you, you kind of have to do this whenever you're reloading or just, you know, trying to bounce a shot. Uh, the only place we can play right now is right here. Because if we go there, their non-existent cron volume is going to shoot down on us. Okay. I got matched up against nothing. Very interesting. We do have two 268B4s, which is kind of fun. Let's hope the 705 realizes that I can't take a hit and he can. Um, well... As I said, least bursty tier 10 heavy autoloader. With the exception of the Rhinocerante, which isn't actually an autoloader, and it's just the worst tier 10 heavy. I would really rather you didn't, please, sir. Thank you very much. So, where are we gonna go now? We go right here. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, my bad. Let's fix that. Um, well, we now have two kills in four games, which is much better than one kill in three games. Obviously. I think. I think it's better. It feels better. Slightly. Please. Don't squeeze me into the wall. Uh, we can't run away from this position, obviously. Uh, we're gonna let the Fosh fire one more time. Hide right here. Is going down. And the Fosh is not. Trying to bait the E4 into coming around my corner. He will not. And I will die to the E4 here. Boop. Yeah. We did 3,000 damage though and got two kills. So, I mean, obviously the Kronwagen is the best tier 10 heavy tank bar none um, <laughs> dog won't fucking stop barking um obviously best tier 10 heavy it's gotta be the Kron bug. It's what you're gonna see the majority of in ranked anyway. Uh, that is not my belief, honestly. Yeah, I think on a random queue, I think the VZ55 is probably the strongest. Um, followed by the 60TP. Then the Kronwagen. 
Oh, he got robbed. Um, and then the um, supercock. In ranked, I believe it's the Kronvog and then the supercock. This is kind of a toss up between the. Um, the 60 TP and the, the VZ55. I think you have to have the 10 degrees of gun pressure on your heavies in ranked. Uh, the mobility of the Kronwagen is just superior to the Superconk in every way. And that's why you just see so many Kronwagens in ranked. It is that good in ranked. In ranked. <laughs> the random queue, it's okay. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not the best thing you've ever seen. Um, Obviously, it had my best game of the day. But there's your damage totals: three thousand on the Kronwagen with two kills, uh, seventeen hundred and no kills, and then, or and one kill in the Superconk. Both of those teams were actually somewhat decent. And then in the 60 TP and the VZ55, fourteen hundred damage, no kills in games that were lost from the matchmaking screen. So, for the upcoming season of Ranked, whenever that is, I don't actually know when that is, but obviously the Kronwagen is going to be still the, the best tank for it. Um, but yeah, definitely get all four of these tanks if you're trying to complete Ranked. I believe they're the best four for it for every single player in the game Kronwagen's probably the hardest of the four to play just because of the longer integral preload and the um, long reload in general which it really isn't even that long but um, for those who can't quite get the the Kronwagen down especially with the the less than optimal hull, hull, hull armor that it has. Um, maybe pick up the VZ-55 and play that. Or you can always go with the T-57 Heavy. It's got pretty similar integral reload to, or not integral, but full magazine reload. And then your integral potential or reload is between the two. So I think the T57 Heavy is probably your fifth best option for ranked. Uh, you won't see a bunch of them, but you will see a few on your heavy tank side. Um, so take that with a grain of salt or not, doesn't matter. I still think these are probably going to be flooding the matchmaker for ranked just because everybody and their mother now has a VZ and everybody and their mother now has a Kronwagen. But um, don't underestimate a Superconk or a 60TP, especially if you set up your 60TP to just have insane gun handling and uh, rate of fire. It's just, this is the only way for me, at least, to play the 60TP. It just... It's so much better when you're just maximizing your gun handling and reload. So, that'll be all for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, I guess, leave a like. It doesn't do anything yet, but I think it will eventually. Um, if you want to see more videos, uh, there's a, an entire playlist on my channel dedicated to World of Tanks videos. And um, I have way too many of them, so I have like a whole three hours of content I'm trying to work on that. Uh, busy school schedule, for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm only taking one class, so I don't really know how it's that busy. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.